So this video was uh, inspired by Devo's shed. And again, congratulations on your uh, awesome drone footage in your latest video. I'm sorry, I hate that word, awesome. It's too American. Um, let's go with uh, fabulous. Yeah, it was a, a fabulous intro. So this is my uh, Echo Chainsaw. And I had some problems with it. And you might have seen it in, uh, in, uh, in my latest burning video. Almost. Choke. Ah! Stupid cord broke. Damn! Same thing. I pulled the knob right through this thingy. So here's that thingy. And I guess that's a uh, technical term. So let's call it a, uh, a, uh, a pull start handle. And the nut went down that hole. So I guess I need some uh, Allen keys and uh, open this thing up. Well, I just found out that it is a 4mm. Does anybody know what this is? Because I don't. I just uh, had a look underneath here and there's some grease there but I still have no idea what it is I will quickly show you what uh, what's underneath here I guess that's only fair because maybe somebody recognizes it I see an Allen key and a whole lot of grease. So it looks like some sort of loop point. But for what? I guess I should ask my brother. He knows a lot more about uh, these things than I do. With all of the screws removed, I should be able to take off this cover. And there is our string. And I'm surprised because I was expecting the nut to be still on here because that is what happened the first time. Hmm. Um this mechanism also slipped a few times. Not sure what happened there. I don't see anything obvious uh, wrong with this. So I put in a temporary nut and now I'm going to close up uh, the patient again. And uh, later on I'll put in a, a new permanent nut after I uh, have machined this uh, pull handle. Because I'm planning to install a washer in here. Because it is a bit uh, funnel shaped. And I'm pretty sure the uh, string got broken close to the uh, previous nut because I can see some uh, melting from the flame I used to uh, lock up the nut. Now I don't know how good you can see this on camera but the inside there where the uh, nut sits is a bit funnel shaped and that's why the uh, nut was able to pull through this uh, handle. Um, the plan is to uh, machine the inside flat and then install a washer. Now I thought about doing this on the lathe, but this, uh, this handle is not, uh, not round. It's actually a bit square that uh, moves into a round uh, part. So, 
I'm going to do it on a uh, on a drill press on the amazing Chinesian drill press. And lucky for me, I happen to have the right size uh, bottom drill that I made a few years ago. I might be able to do this by hand. Well, that's too easy. Let's go to the Chinesian drill press. So welcome at the uh, Chinesium drill press and I'm going to set up the handle in this uh, voice and I cannot tighten it up because uh, the uh, handle gets uh, squashed. Okay, it still fits. Looks like I need to lower the uh, the table. And of course I need to uh, tighten up the chuck. So far I have not uh, forgotten this uh, this year. Let's uh, try and keep it that way. And now comes the exciting bit. It's pretty loose in there. Wow! I took out a whole lot of material. A lot more than uh, I was uh, planning to do. But I guess now we should have a look inside. So I've been looking inside my uh, collection of uh, old and dirty washers and I think I found uh, the perfect fitting one. And I'll show you how it looks. So here's the handle after a little bit of uh, Chinese drill press action. And here's the washer I found. And I think that's pretty much perfect. It's definitely what I had in mind. So let's uh, put the handle back on the uh, chainsaw. And now I need to make a new nut, preferably at the uh, end of the string. I need some pliers. And now we need to do some uh, um, some burning with the uh, torch. So let's find out if there is still a little bit of gas in the uh, torch. First try. Well, I think that will be good enough. And now I need to get out that temporary nut. It's cold here and my fingers are feeling a bit numb. Finally, 
I get it. Well, next I should uh, should try this machine, cause uh, well, you cannot uh, do a video like this and uh, not start the machine, or at least try to start the machine. Let's see. Choke. Start. And I'm locking the gas handle in place. Yeah, and this is not going to work. So I already got cold hands, but now I'm going to get cold feet as well. And to be honest, I would be surprised if this uh, if this thing starts in uh, more in uh, less than ten pulls. Almost. Choke off. Four. I'm back in business, baby. Yep. And I fucked up this uh, guard. Well, it's a uh, spectacular end to this uh, stupid movie. Well, that's it for me. I'm gonna go back inside because it's cold here and now it's also stinking here. Till next time, to be continued.